What's up world, this is Brad from Project Build Stuff and today we're gonna make this modern ombre epoxy lamp. We're gonna start the build off with a half inch piece of material. In my case, I'm gonna be using some poplar. Let's rip the board down to five and a half inches. That's gonna be the height of our lamp. Now it's time for my beast of a crosscut sled. Why did I make it so big? The sides of our lamp will be seven inches long, so that's where we need to set our stop block. You can really use any type of saw for these cuts. You just want to make sure they're nice and straight. And look at that, four nice even sides. Let's dust off the CNC. These slots aren't going to cut themselves. Tyvek tape is the unsung hero of the epoxy game. It's normally used on house wrap, but it's a must have when working with epoxy. I saved you from the enthralling carving of this epoxy mold, but it'll come in handy later. The moment you've all been waiting for, epoxy. I've found the easiest way to mix bulk epoxy like this with a drill and paint mixing attachment. I went with a cool ombre effect on the sides of this lamp. It's real easy to achieve this effect. You just need to add even amounts of pigment between each pore. This creates an even gradient across all the levels of the ombre. I told you this form would come in handy later. Eventually this epoxy sheet will be the top of our lamp. Now let's see how fast we can sand these. Go! Seven seconds, new record. To get a great finish on the epoxy, I actually use a Craftsman Headlight Restoration Kit. It comes with high grit sandpaper all the way up to 2000 grit, as well as polishing pads and compound. I started off with a wet sand at 1500 and now I'm moving to 2000. A quick polish and we're ready to move on. Back over the table saw, we gotta cut some dados to accept the top and bottom. Most of the time I'm too lazy to throw in my dado blade, so I just took a couple of passes with my standard blade. Check your watch, cause it's miter time. fail. Pulled out the beast again, but this time with the blade set at 45 degrees. Got to miter the sides of the lamp. I'm actually going to double miter all the ends, which will make for a cool design feature. It's not totally necessary, but it'll look cool, so that's worth something, right? Just about time for the glue up. Instead of using clamps, we're actually gonna use tape to keep all the sides in line. A 
little glue goes a long way. So don't go crazy. And don't forget to clean up after yourself. Whew, the hard work is behind us. Now we're in the home stretch. So we're gonna take that beautiful lamp we just made and cut a hole in it. For the wires, that is. I went a little oversized with my slot, but it's on the bottom, so I'm not too worried. Chisel coming in clutch. You didn't know you could cut plywood with a chisel, did you? Don't worry, it's just a lamp, not a football. CA glue will be more than fine to keep the bottom on. And in go the lights. Can't wait to light the sucker up. Let's add just a little dab of hot glue to keep the cord in place. And last but not least, let's wrestle this top out of the form. And there you have it, an awesome bedside lamp that I'll be proud to look at for years to come. If you like what you saw here today, go check me out on Instagram at Project Build Stuff, where you can see a behind the scenes look at my future projects. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe down below and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future builds. And as always, it's your turn, go build stuff.